I want to be that house on the street that like decks out in Halloween and then really? decks out in Thanksgiving and stuff and then decks out in Christmas. Christmas. Like yeah. I want to be that yeah. house. I, I don't know. There's like, an I exception. I want the big um, Jack Skellington out the front with his hand out. Have you seen those massive statues? Yeah. Like that, I want that. That's all. That's the furthest we'll go. What do you mean? I don't want tombstones in our front yard. They're working on a reboot, maybe a reboot or a remake or whatever, whatever yeah. of Blade right now. Mm -hmm. Jordan Peele and um, I would not picture him directing like an action film. And and that was the talks. People were like, "Is this going to be good?" Because we haven't seen Jordan Peele. In that this realm. was a great conversation on a podcast I was listening to. Welcome back in to where's my coffee podcast i am paris i'm georgia and this is episode 11 this is our spooky haunted goblin oriented episode wow yeah it's october it is october halloween is right around the corner right around the corner and it is black cat awareness month it is, and you may or may not know, but we do have a black cat of our own. Yes. His name is Brockalicious. Brock. Brock. I knew you were going to say Brockalicious. I was well, about to say Brockalicious. But Brock, but we Brock. call him Brockalicious. Brock, Brockalicious, Broccoli, Brocky. Boop. Boo boo. Schnookums. Uh, Papa. Oh, that's what you think that name is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anything. Cute. Anything. He's so adorable. Yes. Um, so shout out to all the black cat owners out I there. The, I saw a post. Oh, wait. I think you sent me the post. Yeah, I sent it to you. You sent me the post of um, basically black cats have like such a bad rep in adoption centers. And they're always not looked at because there's so many superstitions and yeah. all these sort of things. But they say that black cats are actually better at fighting off diseases and things like that or some there was like there was a list of things where it was just like so you, just so you know about black cats they are almost superior than most and i was like yeah. yes don't judge a cat by its color <laughs> so yeah put it on a performance <laughs> today hey he listen. said i'm gonna bring my beanie out it's you full I mean? i'm i'm you know, gotta be festive, <laughs> all the vibes. you know but yes halloween is right around the corner mm -hmm. yeah is that your favorite holiday no 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 Halloween's never really been a thing when I grew up, like trick-or-treating and all that sort of stuff. I didn't really, I still to this day have not done a real trick-or-treating session. Okay, so is it a fact that Australians don't When do I was Halloween? a child. Okay. When I was a when child. she was, a, so gener there yes. might be a generation gap, generation right. it's difference. It's been adapted a little bit now and because of the American like ways and tendencies and costumes and like having costume parties and all that sort of stuff it's come through and i think because of that then naturally the trick-or-treating people trying to do it but it's nothing to the extent that it is over here in america so there's no pictures of you back in the day in a costume for for halloween no copy that nothing the copy only that. like costumes that i've been in as a child are my dance costumes Fair enough. That's those are the only ones I saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was a I was a pearl of an um a, a, a the pearl in the what do they call them, an oyster. An oyster. An oyster pearl. Oh, I was okay. in all okay. silver. I remember that okay. one. That was funny looking. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, so episode eleven, mm -hmm. as you know, question on the go. We start the episode with it from the previous week. Question on the go from last week was what's the funniest word in the English language? Mm -hmm. We had a couple of responses. Yep. Um, one being, I'm not sure who said what, but one being fridge. 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 Say it long enough. Fridge, fridge, fridge. Why is it called a fridge? Because it refrigerates. But why is it called a refrigerator? Uh, okay. The root word is fridge, right? Mm, yeah. So anyway, what, oh. fridge. Didn't your mom say, ha ha? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> hold on. I'm just powering Because this the... became like a, uh, it started to seem like. You were about to give me like no, a I, I had on. no idea. I was just like prompting huh, curiosity. Oh, okay, I have no idea. Now I'm gonna look up the word fridge and see what. There's probably a reason why yeah. it's called what it's called. But anyway, yeah. anyway, ha ha, ha ha. Now, is that my, a real word? That that's a good question too. Because when she said ha ha, my mother, um, that was her answer to the question. Yeah. And at first, I thought she was just being sarcastic, and I was like, come on. Come on. No, what like, word? I need, I need, yeah, what word? And she says, ha ha. Her 
when she explained it, I said, oh, okay, that kind of makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a contagious thing that makes her laugh. So when she hears other people laugh, she said this. She said when a group of her friends, when they take pictures, their thing that they do is act like they're laughing at something. Mm. So the picture comes off like they were caught in the they're moment. like authentic laugh, um, but it's the most fakest laugh. Yeah, but in reality, when someone, when they start doing it, it cracks my mom up. Like yes. she actually bursts into a laughter. So yep. I was like, okay, ha ha, we'll, we'll get it. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Um, Do you have any yourself? Yes, uh, Suburban. Suburban. You know, the way, the I, burb, the I, burb. I, <laughs> Are you from the Burbs? I think yes, it's I'm also the, the way you're saying bourbon. Bourbon. Some bourbon. I, I, okay. Because you think it's, you know, it's funny to you. You like emphasize the bourbon, like ambulance. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is the way things are said. I yeah. heard someone say suburban and they are, they had like a southern twang mm. and the way they said it was suburban. Just so funny. Suburban. And then I heard a rapper say suburban and he left off the ending like the instead of suburban he says suburban you know what i mean so yeah the, br- Talking the breath the breath suburban <laughs> Ew, that's crazy. Um, that makes me feel uncomfy i would say also um but uh no no not that one buttermilk you're just saying them with a funny accent no i'm not and wording. buttermilk 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 see you don't okay you don't say it like that though got some buttermilk pancakes please I think the, um, and then Bubblicious. You're just playing games now. No, no. Fine. Those are my three. Okay. Suburban. I don't have three. Buttermilk but, and Bubblicious. But I have, I just have one. What do you have? Whom. To whom it may concern. Whom. <laughs> whom. Hmm. Whom. That's. Mm. Whom. Really? That makes you laugh? Whom? It does. To whom? To whom it may concern. To whom it may concern. Okay. Whom? Like W-H-O-M. You know? Yep. Whom. I mean, that's the only way to spell it. Whom. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's a little bit of fun. I yeah, think that was, yeah. any word there is, you say it long enough and you just like question everything and you're just like, who made up these words and why yeah. they mean what they mean? But then if you look think too hard, then you're just in a whole rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Question the go for this episode. What you got? All right, so question on the go for this week is, what was your first Halloween costume? Too bad we can't answer it right <laughs> now. <laughs> um, well, next yeah. next episode, it will probably be released the week of Halloween. Yes, so... Because we're the second week of, Hall- uh, second week second of October week right Halloween. now? No, we're the third week of October. Mm, but yeah, it will probably be yeah. the released Halloween. So yeah, we'll talk about yeah, yeah. Halloween costumes and get a little bit more in the nitty gritty. We'll talk yeah, a little sure. bit, obviously, today about Halloween. Yeah, um, can't wait, can't wait. But I kind of already just said that I didn't do many Halloween costumes, but I do have Halloween costumes, just not my first. Speaking of Halloween costumes, yes. Do you think that it? And I heard this on a podcast that I listened to: um, the fantasizing of serial killers, and. One of the ways of fantasizing is that like they, dressing be- up as they become the trendy costumes. What, what are your mm. thoughts about that? Now, are these serial killers being portrayed in movies or are they these like are actual real people? Life? Like, for instance, Ted oh. Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer. Ah, you know, that's um, tricky. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird, mm-hmm. but I do think those sort of names have almost become their own little celebrity in a like in a morbid way. Well, well, yeah. So it's like because they've created this like celebrity around them because of who they are, it's somewhat the same as just dressing up as any celebrity. Now, I think if you dress up as some random serial killer that hasn't like made news and made like the same like punch into the community. Yeah. I do think that would be a little strange, but I think when it when they've like been on the news and it's like this whole thing, it's like there's like somewhat of a pass for it in a weird way. Yeah, I mean, I think that there should be a distinction. I, I, I don't. There there is a distinction. Um, dressing up as a real life serial killer, that of Ted Bundy, et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera, it still would be very weird because there are people either who have 
um, past, present, or future that are still affected by mm. said person. Yeah. So I think that we should kind of not do that. Yeah. Because now that you say still that, people, I can kind yeah, of see people, that. Like, imagine being affected or knowing or being related to someone who was affected by said serial Super. killer. Yeah. And then on Halloween, you see a lot of people dressed up as that. Yeah. But it's like, it's like, whoa. You know. See, I get that. But wasn't there a Ted Bundy, Ted sh- Bundy. P- show? Th- yes, there were. There so was. it's like. <sighs> it's But that even that's different too because. So uh, is that the exception? The exception. Well. Like is it, that's kind of what I'm trying to get into is, is the exception that it's like okay to if you've. Because they're seen. not fan, like doing a film or TV show depicting real life events yeah is kind of another way another form of news and getting information sure. out out there yeah. so um that's just my opinion i don't think that it's really the same as the community fantasizing and uh dressing up as so these. you think no matter what if their title is serial killer it should be like off limits unless it's a fictional serial killer yeah, like Michael Myers is different. Yeah, it wasn't a real life, right. you know, person. I can see I that. Mean, I respect that. I'm. I, I don't think I'm too. And it might heavily, be. Yeah. I don't think I'm too heavily swayed one way or the other. Got but it. I can. I can see how maybe it's probably better just to stay clear. Yeah, just keep it. Keep it fictional. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, keep keep it, it fictional. fictional. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it, it just it gets kind of messy that way, you know. For sure. Why? Do um, you know someone who wants to dress up as a serial killer? No, it was, like I said, it was just a topic that it was brought up, up on a platform that mm. I listened to. And I just wanted your see Opinion. what your thoughts were about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I hadn't really thought about that. I guess my mind always was like, hey, if it's if it's a movie, then it's you've kind of got the free passage. But I guess mm. the person still exists and those crimes still happened. Yeah. And some of them aren't are as st- old as we think, so right. they're somewhat fresh to some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yeah, it's touchy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so speaking of, you know, keeping it on the, the topic of Halloween. October. October. Um, man, when whenever fall comes around, you just get that that feeling like, yeah, it's here. It's the season. The season is here. Yeah. So earlier you did just say what's your favorite is like Halloween, your favorite season. Yeah. Your favorite holiday. Yeah. And it's not. <laughs> right, 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 right. But you saying that feeling, for me, that feeling is when you get into fall. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But because in the South, fall is not really falling as quickly yeah. as other places. It's not really falling. So I do feel like we're able to separate October, Halloween but what that is, mm-hmm. and then we can get into fall and make it feel really fall into Thanksgiving. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like yeah. back when we lived in Pittsburgh, it felt like it was like straight away fall and Halloween was in the together. But now I feel like in the South, they do feel very separate. Do you know what I'm trying to say? No, I know what you're trying am to I, say. Am I overcooking I, I, here? No, you're not overcooking at all. I feel, I just, I just disagree. I feel that regardless of the weather change, like like feeling the effects of the weather changing yeah. the visual effects are kind of still there because i don't think so we still gr- see green everywhere i i don't i guess you I, you're, you're traveling a little bit more like north and stuff and yeah in the and the suburbs and things like that that's and, true i and don't see it as much even at the the shop the leaves are are Falling. all over you know what i'm saying you know what yeah. i mean so i'm a little bit of a homebody right now <laughs> 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 sorry we can cut that out no, let's keep that moment in there. Let's just keep it going. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I feel like, and, and, and it's funny because we had this conversation last week where mm-hmm. I said, I feel like October and November are all one month because yeah. it, it's never like November. You're just taking the jack-o'-lanterns away and keeping all the pumpkins. The, the pu- like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, you're keep. It's still well, the same. I guess it depends vibe. on how. How how how, how intense you, you go into you, it? Yeah, like true, true, I'm true. not gonna lie. One day when we like a, like have a full house and yeah. like children, a whole family, I want to be that house on the street that like decks out in Halloween and then really? decks out in Thanksgiving stuff and then decks out in Christmas. <laughs> Christmas like yeah. I want to be that yeah. house. I, I don't. No, I, there's like, an I exception. I want the big 
um, Jack Skellington out the front with his hand out. Have you seen those massive statues? Yeah. Like, that, I want that. That's off, That's the furthest we'll go. What do you mean? I don't want tombstones in our front yard. What, uh, what, huh? Of course. No. How, how else are you meant to decorate for Halloween? Put spider webs? That's yeah, you can do spider webs. Nah, we can do we some. Need, we need We're a not little graveyard. Do, no, no, ma'am. We could make it playful. Okay, all right. We'll put Mac, Michael Jackson out there too. Huh? Thriller. We'll make it the thriller scene. If okay. we're going to do tombstones, <laughs> I at least want Michael Jackson's thriller. Okay, sure. We'll put a little silver glove over one of the tombstones. That would be fire. Thanks. Another one. Wow, okay. Wow, I'm okay. Just yeah, all yeah. ideas wow. today. Yeah, that was... All right, cool. I'm um, with the tombstones now. I don't know if you can tell, but Halloween is Paris's probably favorite time it, of it, year. It has, um, yeah. So much so that recently you put a little Facebook poll, a uh, little question yeah. being like, guys, top 10, let's go. Yeah. What are your favorite movies? Um, Talk well, about it. well, 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 yeah. Because I have I was... no input. <laughs> so I, I put a panel up on fa- uh, Facebook yep. because I am creating my top 10 horror list, yep. uh, horror uh, film list. And um, Manny, they don't even know that they challenged me. Mm-hmm. They they had said, uh, I need a top 10 list. So I said, okay. Bet. Now I'm, I'm going to create. Accepted. Yeah, challenge accepted. Now doing anything, coming up with top 10 anything mm-hmm. is, is one, it takes a lot of thought. Yeah. Two, it's, it's subjective. 100%. Three, it can change. Yeah. And even what you come up with is not concrete because of all the reasons I just listed. So I said, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a top 10 list, but it's going to have four different uh, sections. I have psycho horror. Okay. I have sci-fi horror. Okay. I have post-apocalyptic horror. Mm. And then I have the traditional slasher so you're about to give top 10 for each no 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 no. oh my god i was like we're gonna be here oh, all yeah. day that's that's about 40 <laughs> yeah. no 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 okay good, so good. it the top 10 is broken into sections you know what I mean? oh like what your favorite type of and yes. then within i see within, okay you know what i mean okay um, let's start lowest what you got uh, yeah the bottom? so so this is not in any particular order it doesn't oh. mean like this is better than the, the uh, other. You're just categorizing them in this section. Yeah. Okay. Just sure. th- that was the easiest way for me to come up with this. And I'll list. I'll let the, the the audience know if I've seen it or not. Okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> that'll be that'll show you how different we are. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with psycho psychological horror. Okay. So I have two two films in yep. this section. Uh, one is Midsummer. I've seen that. Yes, you have. Good one. Yeah. Um, and then number two is Sixth Sense. I haven't seen that. Bruce Willis, classic. I, I no, yeah, I know what direct, it is. But okay. I've never seen it. Yeah, yeah no, this, no, 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 I, seen it. My dad took. We went. My dad, Kevron, mm-hmm. uh, my uncle Wayne, me, and I think Price may have been a baby, so he didn't go. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this is when it. We went Wait, to the theaters to the and theaters see this. To see. Oh my goodness! This um. Oh, and another cousin of mine. And it was the crazy experience. And this is what you haven't seen it, but the audience, I'm pretty sure they have. Mm -hmm. But it was so crazy. The scene that keeps replaying in my mind Mm -hmm. is when uh, the main character, little little boy, he's running down the hallway into this little teepee that he built. Because he's running, oh, I've, he's I've running seen from the, the visual of it. Yeah, yeah. running from uh, the teepee. I, re- I remember seeing a teepee. Yeah, he's running from uh, a ghost store mm-hmm. or whatever, and he has his flashlight mm-hmm. and it's dark. <laughs> he's his flashlight is following the clips on his teepee because they're unclipping. So he's like, "What in the what?" Oh, and no. then he turns around and it's this ghost and sh- of a, of a little girl and she's vomiting Ugh. the whole theater. Screaming. Screamed. My cousin wow. fell out of her seat screaming. It was, and I'm this little kid, like, what is going on? And I'm seeing that this. That would be such yeah, a fun experience. The, I mean, it was crazy. Like, going to the movies, again, is, is uh, it was such a thing back in the 90s. It was so, like, so dope. Anyway, um, so that's my top two in a psychological mm-hmm. horror. Sci-fi horror, I have signs. I haven't seen it. Whew. The best alien. Oh, wait. Oh, did you make me see it? I think I made you watch it. I don't think we finished it though. M. Night Shyamalan. Bored. I was bored. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. 
sorry. Keep going. My favorite alien movie of all okay. time. Post uh, post apocalyptic horror. Now this was my question on Facebook. Mm. I said, "Is post apocalyptic? Is that a subgenre, or or what?" I'm mm-hmm. coming up with like you know what I mean. Um, and people were saying it's more so a, a, a the, setting, the setting. You yeah. know what I mean, and not so much which a makes genre. sense. It does make sense yeah. for sure um, because you can have a post apocalyptic comedy comedy da, da, da. so like yeah yeah and i get it i mean i can understand how someone would say it, it could be a genre or two but mm, i don't think you can i don't think you it's can a hold... sub it could be a sub genre right no because the, no? no no okay no it's completely just pure setting all right well cool well th- th- that horror with that type of setting yeah <laughs> um i have Train to Bus- uh, Train to Busan. That is a great movie. I did see that. That's pr- yeah. That's probably a top. So the reason why I did post the I, I should rename that zombie horror. Yeah. Yeah. So zombie horror. Uh, Train to Busan, number mm-hmm. one. Number two, World War Z. I don't think I finished Brad it, Pitt. but I've seen some of no, it. No, we, we've. Did I finish it? Yeah. Uh, is it when there's like a moment asleep? and they're like all like climbing up? Really crazily, all the zombies like yeah, and they like come yeah. up and really high. And he's in. They're in the. Uh, See, I don't airplane feel like I've ever air. finished it. You probably. I thought you. Movies did. like that. I'm just like. Oh, they're so I just fascinating. Get so bored by them. Hmm. Sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry, people. <laughs> and this is a gem. Number three is a gem. Okay. I don't. I don't think many people have seen this that I've talked to. Okay. Quarantine. I haven't. No. Great cast. Is it? it it's about people getting trapped in this apartment complex. American? Yeah, American. Okay. Um. And the the rats are carrying the virus. Oy. Um and nice. just all in this apartment complex, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right. And finally, mm. slasher. Okay. And number three. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Haven't seen it. Two thousand and three. Haven't seen it. It was a remake of the original that came out in two nineteen seventy five. Wow. I think that's crazy. Seventy five. Yep. Okay. Um, this has Jessica Bill. Okay. Um, yeah, Jessica Bill, phenomenal remake. Probably one of my favorite remakes. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two is Scream Two. Don't think I've seen it. Yeah, this one had um, uh, Mikhail Pfeiffer, mm-hmm. um, uh, Jada Pickett Smith. Oh. Yeah. Um. Was not expecting that name. Yeah. Yeah, it is classic. That's right. Again. We went to the theater just to see it. Mm. And iconic moment was Jada Pickett in the scene um, took place in the movie theater as well. And everybody was getting slashed oh, by the goodness. Scream character. And she climbed up on the on the movie screen and screamed. She was all in blood and stuff like that. And uh, number one. Give me a second. You are doing the most right now, brother. <laughs> Number one. You're not even going to be able to see it in the whole clip. You should be able to see it, right? Nah, you're I not going to so. be able Number to see it. I think so. Number one is Halloween. <laughs> yes, we have the poster of it in John our Carpenter's room. 1978 Halloween. Be right back. <clears throat> My favorite horror film of all time. Dramatic. Are you you happy? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Um, So, yeah, that's my top 10 list. Sorry. Yes, that is my top 10 list. Uh, Again, subject to change. Um, But, yeah, that was kind of fun creating that list, too. Yeah. no, I mean, you love creating your list, so it it wasn't even a hassle for you. But for me, I'm like, horror films. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Horror films. It takes it takes a lot for me to watch a horror film. It does. Because whenever I, I just, ask you, like, hey, you want to watch it? I don't know a- what it is. I just, like, for some reason, except for Train to Busan, because mm-hmm. that was incredible. I feel like you like zombie movies, though. Zombie movies I can do. Yeah. But I think sometimes I just, I just want to laugh. Mm-hmm. Like, they're just, I, for some reason, I find them more so comedic than like actually scared and then when they're when they are scary i just know that it's like it's building up to a jump scare so i'm just like i'm i know you're gonna get me but like i don't know yeah, i just like don't get you. like the same like satisfaction from those type of movies it's a it's an effort for you to watch it like is. And, it, and it it yeah 
It's exhausting. <laughs> Hence why most of them, if I started them, I've never finished them. Yeah. Well, what I did was I did ask, I put up a poll. Yeah. And asked people their favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Um, so, yeah, I got a couple on here. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas. As a horror? Yeah. Okay. That's a cartoon. And I have seen that. That's yeah. one of my older and younger sisters. Mostly older. Like, favorite movie. That's where Jack Skellington comes from. Got it. That's that's the skeleton guy. I, I, you it's know, a, I've it's seen interesting. That. But I've heard people say that that was... It's like a child horror movie because it's like kind of scary Got with it. the boogeyman and stuff like that. Now, with some of these, I don't know if you guys were trolling or you guys were. I think they're trolling. Serious? You you think so? Yeah. Don't say it. <laughs> All right. Um, Halloween. Someone said Halloween. Okay. Which I like. Halloween Town. I haven't seen Halloween Town. Is that Disney the... Disney classic? Yeah, that's the another. Uh, what is it called? Cartoon as well, right? No, this oh. was a live action. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Nostalgic. Mm, okay. Jeepers Creepers. Haven't seen it. I don't think you would. That one's kind of insane. Over the Garden Wall. Now, so they said it was, it's not a movie, but it's a mini, mini series. Okay. Uh, might check that out. Scream. Haven't seen it. Uh, Parasite. I have seen it. Parasite, That's a good one. That Oscar. Is that a horror it, it though? Is that also a thir- thriller? No, it was. I mean, it was. It, it's like a. Th- it's, yeah, it's more like a psychological thriller yeah type of thing but yeah that parasite good one, was though. good yeah yeah that see, was see really i can do experience. psychological like we just watched mm-hmm. um uh, don't blink bl- twice, blink twice. Mm-hmm. great movie yeah great one and that was very psychological mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. disturbing uh signs haven't seen it was that on your list yeah yeah sorry okay yeah uh matthew put ford versus ferrari matthew nice try and yeah, because of this, the- now all he wants to do is watch horror films. Yeah. And every night he's really trying to get me to watch them and I'm it's just really hard. Yeah. So that's why the- we watched Don't Blink Twice. <laughs> what is it again? The, the movie's called Blink Twice. Blink Twice. Don't <laughs> I'm the worst. You're getting Don't Breathe and Blink I think, Twice. Mixed I think up, I am. Which is another Okay. Wow, that's what that I would watch. One. I would watch that one. The second Don't Breathe, Don't Don't Breathe Two? Yeah. I watched that already. You watched it without me? You uh, you didn't want to watch it. You never said you wanted to watch it. I thought it was I still always, in theaters. I, uh, girl, I always come to Wait, you. Wait, you watched that? I always come to you, and I even asked you. I don't remember that, because I would watch that. <sighs> what? That annoys me. Would you watch it again? Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I ain't watching it by myself. You know me. I don't like watching it. But for you, yes, I would. I would watch it again. But okay, I did. I you. always come to you and say, hey, babe. New movie come out, scary movie. You want to watch it? And you're always like, um, maybe, maybe. What? Send me the trailer. <laughs> Let me see. You know, the when I say send me the trailer, you're yeah. like, it's not happening. Because the other night, the only reason why we only, the only reason why we ended up watching Blink twice is because I wanted to watch Halloween 2018, and she was like, Yeah, sure, we can, we we can. And I know right off the bat that means she really doesn't want to do it so i said all right the other two options are long legs Mm -hmm. which we gotta watch too or i have to watch and then don't blink Mm -hmm. and i had already seen the trailer for don't blink so i was like you know what this looks good it's got chatting tatum in it yeah i said all right i'm willing to i'm willing to do that because i did hear good things about that so yeah it was good yeah i did enjoy it. very deep very deep yeah very disturbing yeah um what's your own risk really yeah, I mean, with Halloween, obviously Halloween is your thing, but my thing, more so, really just being an American in general, would be my love for fall. Yeah. Or autumn for my Aussie people. Um, I feel like in America, fall and autumn, there's a lot more to do and a lot more to feel in this time of the year. Because I feel like in Australia, we don't really have that much of this weather. Like we s- kind of skip it a little bit. We don't really get the intense fall changing of colors of the leaves and everything like that. Like over here, I feel like the colors are just like yellows and oranges. And it's just, it's so like majestic almost. And I just love it. And I love the temperature. You're right. There's a lot of yellow and oranges in Australia so- already. I felt like. Not with the leaves though. Not with the leaves? Our leaves just fall off if they're, like, for the winter. 
Like but we have what a little bit of change. They? Green. And then we uh. just don't have those type of trees as much. Question. The colors do change. I'm So they do change. Yes. I'm saying like the intense and the dramaticness of it. Like over here, like in Georgia, if we go up to the north like the northern mountains and everything mm-hmm. and we hike, it's just gonna be like a sea of yellow, orange, oh, and red. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like, not it's like just that in beautiful. Yeah, got no. Got like we would get a couple we have a couple trees here and there, like that will change, but not as dramatic and then like the temperature is so nice and then obviously because we have thanksgiving then like we extend the reason to celebrate fall and having Mm. the pumpkins and there's like time of i don't know it's like like more festive we we go pumpkin picking we do all these things Mm. um which brings me to wanting to talk about my i guess also halloween but like fall and halloween wants and to do's before the time's up yeah now we're all, Halloween will be Halloween's here of, in, uh, in a jiffy. Um, and I think one thing that I want to do for Halloween is to do some sort of fright night, like a, go somewhere like one of those things. Now, sometimes I feel like they're like over with like commercialized and they're never actually fun. So I wonder if there is one that we can do that's kind of spooky, but like still gets us in that like spirit of Halloween. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie to you. Where we went last year, over on the oh, east, the Oakland so. Cemetery thing. People wait years for those tickets, Paris. It was like okay, it was like a ghost tour in the one of the like famous cemeteries here, and we were we were gifted the tickets, and it was beautiful. We got a dinner, and we went with two other friends, and it was a fun time. And they we would go from cemetery to cemetery where they not no, some, we, uh, like tomb to tomb essentially and there would be actors giving like a monologue of like their time and what they did and how they died and all this sort of yeah. stuff so it was like spooky it, it no. was it was no no but you missed I my f- spooky it, it was spooky like it was eerie feeling and it was fun i felt like i was on a field trip back in fourth grade and <sighs> it was an educational Thing. I mean, it was a little bit. Yeah, I didn't sign up for that. I was told we were going on a haunted ghost tour, not... whatever it was. Yeah. And from the outside, the cemetery looks spooky as heck. So yeah. I was like, oh, ready for this it. is like, let's OK. Go. So maybe that was like an expectation versus reality. You had a different expectation. Yes, I did. And they weren't met. But I knew exactly what we were walking into. Mm. So. Long story short, we're not doing that. That's okay. I don't. So we don't need it. I think that just adds that to once. your point of how things uh, like are underwhelming. Yeah. With some of this. So, but I do wonder if there's a true like I ghost so. hunting thing that we can do. That's not just like to my ghost hunting friends. Hit me up if you need guests. <laughs> my wife and I would oh my love. God, that would to, be so fun. Yeah. You know what, Ryan? I'm going to text you and remind you that we are here in Georgia. Does so. he live in Georgia? Um, no, he no. lives, but they, tr- the team, they travel Find somewhere in Georgia to do Please. it. Please, Like I would, <gasps> that would love be to. so yes. fun. Yes. I don't know how I'd react. I think I'd be an, uh, a, 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 like skeptic the whole time. So I'd be a good hey, guest that, because then I won't believe anything that's happening. Paranormal quest. Hmm. That's their, uh, channel. Yeah. Their channel. Yeah. Um, what else do I want to do? Halloween. I want to, I don't want to do any sort of pumpkin carving because it's overrated, it's yeah. messy, and then you have this moldy pumpkin at the end of the season. Just, I'm not here for it. Sorry. No, not as fair. Now, this is one thing that I want to add to the list, but I feel like as like grown adults with no children, it's a little strange. <laughs> I know where this is going. I kind of want to go trick or treating. Just like, just walk around. Well, and- or at least we have to tag along with people who have babies so that we can feel it. Like we need to find mm. children. Okay, this is going really south, but we need to find people with children. Oh my god! And we need to go <laughs> trick or treating with we them. We need to find children. That is children crazy. under the age. No, yeah. Um, because I've I've never been trick or treating, or maybe yeah. we just wait until that becomes like a family thing for us. Yeah. And I just wait for that special moment. We were riding in the car, and you were like, "Yeah, we should we should just like go walk, like go to a neighborhood and just walk around and mm-hmm. and then we thought about it, we were like That's that would weird. be kind of crazy. Like, where are your children? Just, like, it's just so two, two grown, grown adults people just in like, costumes walking around. Like, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Okay, yeah. maybe that's what we got to find someone who with kids and then go from there and then see if we can, like, tag along with their trick-or-treating. Yeah. Um, other than that, Halloween, my list is not that long because, like, maybe watch a Halloween movie. Do you have anything else you want to do for Halloween? Yeah, I want to have a Halloween marathon. 
<laughs> yes, all all different uh, <sighs> plot uh, storylines. Every you know. Hmm. Okay, so this is the thing. I'm all here for marathons. Like, give me the Harry Potter series and I can marathon that easy. See, all right, so you owe me one. I do owe you one. Crap, why did I say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Halloween okay. Halloween marathon. We got, we have to. Okay, but you all have right, to right, put right, together good ones. How about this? All right, how about this? Okay. You can either do Rob Zombie, John Carpenter. I forget the other director. I don't even know. What, you're, you're saying director's names? I don't yeah, even... so the, they did their own rendition. Of each. John okay. Carpenter is... You choose, because I have no idea. <sighs> anyway, okay. Okay. we'll get to it. Yeah. We'll see. Um, But, uh, go ahead. I was going to say, I was going to... You did say that you wanted to bake some things. Yeah, well, that goes into the full category. Fall so category. my full category things I want to do... Do you want to finish up Halloween category? Or? I'm done. I don't have anything else I want to do for Halloween. See, That's see. why I asked. We do need to get back on our ghost hunting. Yeah, watching. we used to watch this channel. What were they called? The haunted side. The haunted don't, side. Don't. No, 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 no. They're really, they're really good, and yeah. we would watch it quite regularly. And pretty, like, feels pretty truthfully truthful. I don't feel like they were like jibbing any sort of reactions or like yeah. actual like, ex- like what do they call them? Like encounters. Like I feel like it was all very like real. And like raw. um. Like if something moved Evidence or there was a sound. Like yeah, it felt real. Like it didn't feel fake, um, which I like because sometimes those things on YouTube, you just like, you know, you're staging yeah. this. But there was like, there was like a twist of like it going from like a group of people to like solo. And the group yeah. was more so the vibe, the solo. I feel like we miss the like eeriness of it yeah. when it's solo. Because it, one, you... You see his face more. You see his face more. He has to talk a lot more. Yeah. Like he's just talking to himself. Yeah. Or to the viewers. So kind it's of changed sort, the sort vibe of, a little bit. Maybe yeah. we should go back and give it another chance. But because it's been a couple years since I we, know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. But then your guys, Col- Holt, what, what were Colby, Holt, Colby and Colby uh, and oh crap, I forget what they were called. Their their team yeah, was called. Yeah, I but forget they, their duo. Their stuff. Their content was. Whew. Yeah. Their content was really good. You liked that? I was skeptical at first because I was like... Some of this stuff is a little, like, performancey, but I think, mm. for the most part, it's yeah. similar. The stuff I've seen, especially when they went to do Crap, some of, like, the names? hotels, yeah. It's not Jack and Colby, no. No, it might be. Jack sounds... No. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. People probably know what it is, yeah. but... We do... They're pretty famous. Yeah. They've got a lot of followers, yeah. so... We just need to get back to our ghosties. See, that's, like, I'll do ghost stuff. Because it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, my list of four things, because I think it's fun to talk about um, what I want to do for this fall. We were meant to do this last year, but we never actually did it. I want to do a hike when the leaves are officially completely changed. Like there's not one side of green left. Mm-hmm. Like I really, really want to do a hike. Okay. We okay. can do a hike, baby. Okay. If yes. you don't do it, I'm going to be really mad. Good. Um, I really want to bake, as you said. I want to do some, I don't put it, I should put a little poll if I should do like a pumpkin pie or a sweet potato sweet pie. Sweet potato pie, yeah, yeah. See, like, you a right? A pecan sweet potato pie. Oh, like a, yeah, like I just, I don't know what to bake, but I want to bake something. Chocolate bourbon pecan pie. I feel like our friend Courtney. Yeah, she kills it. She, she kills she, it with the taco bourbon. She can take that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, my brain doesn't really remember which one's nicer, but a, uh, but a pecan, um, sweet potato or pumpkin. Us black folks, we love sweet potato pie. I think my favorite, I don't see, I don't know. I forget what I normally grab when they have the options. I feel like I do sweet potato too. Yeah, because you're, yeah. You don't have to fist pump me every single time I say something I, that you agree listen, to. Listen, listen. Um, yeah, so I want to bake something. And fun fact, I don't know if it's fun fact, but we are actually week four of our health grind journey um just doing like very like simple like healthy habits more so rather than like a strict diet per se <laughs> it's not a strict diet we're still eating little what we to zero eat. sugar is yeah. a strict diet so we're basically trying not to eat any added sugar in anything which is a lot harder than you think 
Um, no, no preservatives. No, pre- yeah, no preservatives. Just like whole foods, essentially. We're taking our greens, we're doing creatine, we're drinking bottles of water, trying to get to bed at a certain time, a certain amount of workouts a week. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we're just like creating these healthy habits. We're in week four. And at first, we said we were going to do it up until Christmas. But now that I really want to bake, I'm like, can we do it like till Thanksgiving? <laughs> well, you know, it's a lifestyle now at this point. Like, and it's that's be- why it's I did- becoming the habit now, yeah. which I'm liking. And I like it. It like, yeah, it cleans the gut out. Like, I, I, I feel a lot better. So fresh. I feel I, I do feel good. Yeah. I do feel good. Um, I'm excited yeah. to see um, the results because I feel like it's going to it's like a time when it's not going to be drastic. Yeah. So it'll be interesting. I got to weigh myself too <laughs> today. OK um so yeah uh what was was on my list oh duh go to like a pumpkin patch or something i want to i might like don't you carve at a punk, pumpkin no, no, patch no you like pick up pumpkins and they have like little festive things they have like little apple cider and they like yeah you go to this, take photos by the pumpkins i've never been to a true pumpkin patch and then they me have neither. like the hay, hay bale rides yeah, and like stuff like that so maybe it's we should all, do that all this stuff you're saying is like things to do with family to do with family and to do with right, kids. Right, but if and, we like find a little group of people that all want to do it and there's like five yeah. or six of us or something and we all go do it, that's really cute and festive for the mems. Yeah. I yeah. want to, I, I want to, basically all that to say, I want to do things this fall that like create memories and that it's not just like another season pass and we don't yeah. have like memories from yeah. it. Yeah, no, you know I'm, I mean? I'm for all that. Because like I keep saying like, oh, when we have kids, like we'll do all that. It's just like, why don't we just do it now? That's true. Oh, I do want to get some more fall candles to make the house truly smell like fall. I love the candles that you pick out. I have the I have one currently that's smelling very fall, but I feel like I need to get a couple more so that it takes over the whole house. Yeah, and it's in one thing one one thing that I love that you do because it's very nostalgic, and I haven't like really shared this, but like when I come in the house and the candles are lit, it smells very festive, mm-hmm. like you've cleaned up the living room and it's just it reminds me real of housewife like, duties I'm sure it just reminds me of like my mom doing that too Aww. like you know what i mean so it, it it i don't know it always i always notice it during the fall like i don't i don't know well it's why, probably but. because it's like i feel like in the summertime it's like less you don't come home feeling like you want to be cozy like warm yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. when you come home and the temperature is dropping yeah it feels cozy in those moments for sure um but yeah anything you want to do this fall um yeah i want to do everything pretty much that you had that you had said <laughs> um I, honestly i just want to be i do want to go somewhere where there's just nice music playing everyone is yeah actually we should see what sort of like um like outdoor festival fall yeah. festivals if there's like some sort of like um, just having like a drink and what do they call them not festivals yeah a fest yeah like a what do they call them when they have like stalls and stuff stores stalls stalls <laughs> stalls um we, it, it's not a, they call it something different than a festival a it, carnival no I'm trying to figure out what, what do you mean by stalls? Like stalls of like there's like warmed nuts over here, and then they there's like oh my god, you're a child. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, and then there's like a whole cider over here, and you can like there's some little boutiquey thing doing like handmade crafts. Like over a here. farmers market kind of yeah, sort of vibe. Yeah, kind of like like a market, like a like fall a mar- market. Yeah, fall or market. I feel what you're saying. Like something like that. We should look up and see who's yeah, doing what. Doing. Maybe it is a festival. In the elevator, they have. The um that's the list of things they're doing it out community, not necessarily. Uh, okay, not the city. No, I'm pretty sure if we go on Instagram, there's yeah, we'll there, find yeah. some things. Uh, yeah. and, and to finish, like, I, like having a cold beer, like, in the, that is I, the least festive fall thing I could ever hear you say. Well, you cut me off midway, so it didn't all I'm go so sorry. together. One more time. No, that's no, okay. Like going somewhere, like a a fest store, a farmers market, mm-hmm. like. The fall weather, we're in cozy clothing, mm-hmm. but having like a festive Oktoberfest beer or or a drink or something like that, and just just enjoying the festivities around, like being outside. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, that's something. That's really it. Some campfire. Fire. Ooh, you know like what I haven't made in a long thing? time? S'mores. S'mores. 
How did you know? Because I agree. We Actually, when that. we go back to your hometown in for Christmas, oh, we should. Mom has a. She has the fire, fire, fire pit, pit, in the pit now. Yeah. We should um, oh, make it a priority to yes. do s'mores. Oh yes. Christmas. Oh yeah, we're gonna be out there. We definitely gonna be out there, even the day before, or when we arrive that night. Any day, any day. I just want to make some s'mores because I haven't yeah. done that in a long time. That'll be nice. You know, mom will be so down. Oh for my that. gosh! You know what's even crazier? This oh, that's what we. Do. Go ahead. I don't think you've re- you've realized this either. This will literally be this the first be. Christmas I'm down there not being vegetarian. Oh yeah, right? you want to get some soul cooking, girl? I don't think I've been. Even yeah, when we not, first dated, I no, I hadn't gone there for Christmas. You haven't, but but you've been there though. No, but like I haven't been there for Christmas food. Yeah, you're true. This will be my first Christmas going down there eating meat. That is so true. Your mom's gonna be like, yes. oh my, <laughs> <laughs> she's like she can eat. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm actually kind of grow excited. Up. Yeah, we're definitely gonna grow. That'll up. be fun. Cause yeah, yeah, I mean, shoot, last episode, maybe two episodes ago, I like kind of mentioned that I'm not eating meat yeah still eating meat yeah um yep. when i tell people now they're like oh my gosh what types have you tried i'm like everything <laughs> uh everything but pork no i've had some pork wait what counts as pork Isn't uh bacon pork chops i've had bacon oh, okay okay i haven't had a, a, like turkey a, bacon is not pork i haven't had a little i've had real bacon too where like in a like a breakfast sandwich from like oh okay. yeah um i've had i haven't had like a like a just a regular steak that's the only mm. thing i haven't eaten well, why don't I cook steak sometime? I just don't really like steak. She don't like it when I cook it. No, I, I just never liked steak. Are you interested? I would be, but... Yeah. Mm, it's the blood. It's no different than the burgers. All right, well, I'll just cook it as as well done as you would like it. Okay. Yeah, that's I all. I can do that. <laughs> you can do half a steak. Half a steak, yeah. I'll, we'll, do, we'll I'll just take a, a bite. Steak. I'll just take a bite. We'll, we'll split one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. Yeah, that is. You're, yeah, you're going to eat good. You're mm-hmm. going to eat good. It'd be fun. Speaking of soul cooking. Yes. I, you guys take my black card if you want. Um, I, I just, just popped in my head as we were talking about the cooking. Okay. I don't like cornbread. I think really? it's, yeah, it's, um, it makes me choke, choke while I'm thinking about Close. it. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't like cornbread. I love cornbread. Really? Yeah, I've had a co- I haven't had a lot of it, but I've had a couple times, and I like it. It's very bland, mm-hmm. but I kind of like that. But it, but like buttery and bland. Yeah, I is mm. buttery the right word? It's buttery. Yeah, yeah, yeah buttery yeah. and bland. Yeah, I mean, because that is a festive type of yeah cornbread. Of thing. Yeah, but I, uh, one thing I can't really get onto speaking of soul food is yeah. the collard greens. I can't quite. You don't like no collard greens. Well, also, is it the spice? Because you've had them like spicy or something. Well, no. Also, whenever your family cooks them, they cook them in like a pork or beef broth sort of thing. So yeah. I've never actually had them that oh, way. Oh, because you were v- you yeah. were veget- so you were vegan actually, at that time. Actually, let me let me rephrase that. I you don't think I've never them. actually had them. Yeah, you couldn't eat them because they were cooked in meat. Have I ever had colored greens? I don't think you have, because I think you would really actually like them if you have. Wow, yeah. I don't think I've actually ever had them before. Then now that I think about it, yeah, try some. Let me get. I'll try it. Yeah, try. But don't some. be offended if I don't like them. No, 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 no. Because you you like. Do you know it's? It's like a form of it's kale. kale. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like. It's just it's cooked the kale. Yeah. It's well, not cooked kale. It's you're right. the family you're right. from it's, kale. You're right. You're right. Come on. Yeah. Even I know that. Yeah. I think you would. My mom's collard greens. Hmm. Okay. I'll give yeah. it a go. I'll give it a yeah. go. Shoot. I would love to go trick or treating. Now I'm thinking about it. Seriously. Like we need to find a family that will take us in. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking of all the cool costumes. I love when. I can't wait. I know we've gone back and forth with fall and Halloween talk, but. Yeah. I actually can't wait to like create like a little family themed Halloween costume. Yeah, what's, like, what's first on the docket? Oh, honestly, we should do like the Lion King or something. Uh, yeah, I can see that. We can do that. We yeah, could do little, all the Lion little, King. Little Lion King. I feel yeah. like we've got to we've got to do the Incredibles. That's like a t- typical one. That's typical. Or is yeah. that too typical? Uh, uh, every I don't want to do the Incredibles. We can do like a. We could do like a, the Flintstones. Girl, no. 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 Okay. <laughs> the um, what else could we do? Uh, could you Shrek? 
And a child could be donkey. Sure. I feel like there's so many. I feel like when you have like the ability to do like older and younger people within the yeah. group, it's kind of fun. We should do like Justice League or like um, Fantastic Four. Mm. We should do it where the kid is Groot. Oh, that would be cute. That would be cute, that'd right? That would be cute. And I could be, what's the green chick or the blue chick? Or what, what color is she? <laughs> First of all, you're thinking of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's um, Groot is part of Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I said the Avengers, but okay, two different things. Um, they join the Avengers in it. So, sure. potato, potato. Yeah. I know uh, my stuff. What's her name? I know my Marvel. Yeah, what's her um, name? Mora. Is it Gamora? Gamora. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Gamora. I and I could, Gamora. Who would I be, babe? Ooh, who would you be? Falcon. But he's just a part of Avengers, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's the guy that flies with the wings. Yeah. And he's, he's black. Did you know that? Yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I think I could. Yeah. What's or... the guy that, the, the most recent one we watched... What did we just watch? What did we just watch? Was it Wolverine and... Yeah. Deadpool? Yeah. What's the guy that was in the like underground world? There was the three that they found. Oh, Blade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I could Blade? be... Yeah. Oh, yeah. heck yeah. I'll be Blade. Again, vampire. So, like, another oh, reason... He's a vampire. That, yeah, yeah. You didn't know that? Oh. He's a half-breed. No way. Yeah. He's 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 a vampire human. So, yeah. But he's a vampire slayer, though. Interesting. Yeah, Blade is that's a dope series. That's what kicked off the that. MCU. I don't think I've seen no, that. Yeah, that like realm. I gotta okay. I'll introduce you to Blade then. There's a lot of because I do love Marvel a lot. <coughs> DC. There is a lot that DC and Marvel that yeah. whole the whole universes. There are a lot of like, oh my god, what do they call them? It's a series. It's not a series. It's called a franchise. The franchise, franchise mm-hmm. and how they like tree off into their own character things yeah no, i feel definitely. like there's a lot of characters that i haven't like dabbled into like i've just done like the typical like hulk captain america yeah. iron man no. all of that sort of stuff but i haven't done the like lesser not that he's but, like lesser but he's no, not as late no i'll introduce you i'll introduce you how many movies does he have he has three. Oh my god yeah you've seen them all yeah. How have you seen all these movies? And these when did they come out? Like early 2000s. Uh, yeah, early 2000s. Okay. They're working on a reboot. Maybe a reboot or a remake or whatever, whatever yeah. of Blade right now. Mm. And, Hence why uh, he was in that new one to like... Pretty much. To spike to, the yeah. interest. Um, and Jordan Peele is... In it? Directing it. Oh, he's directing it. Jordan Peele and... Um, I would not picture Brian him directing like an action film. And and that was the talks. People were like, is this going to be good? Because we haven't seen Jordan Peele. In that this realm. was a great conversation on a podcast I was listening to. Mm-hmm. They were like, we're not sure if he's going to be, if he's a good candidate. Yeah. But someone else said, yo, you got to think. He makes high budgeted blockbuster films. Yeah. Whether, whether yeah. you like it or not. Yeah. He's, he's, he's good going at what to, he does. Marvel's going to make billions of dollars yeah. regardless. Like, you know It'll what I'm saying? It'd be interesting to see how, because obviously I feel like his stuff can be very psychological it, and it, like it, subliminal. Him and Ryan Coogler, Ryan Coogler. Who is, Coogler. why is that name familiar? Uh, he did Fruitvale Station. He did Creed. Okay. And then he did Black Panther. Oh, uh, yes. okay. So that marriage right uh, there is yeah, whoo, yeah, it's going to yeah. be fire. That'd it's going to be, be cool. fire. Because you still, with Blade, he, there's still that not horror but mm. there's still that dark energy energy surrounding the, right. those films so okay. yeah it's going to be dope That'd it's going to be, be dope. yeah okay cool well, that's exciting yeah so maybe we'll do that as <laughs> the horror that that could be the halloween thing you show me blade okay is that right. a cop out though probably what do you think people <laughs> is it a cop out if he does i'll okay how about this i'll watch two classics okay <laughs> two classics just like dot, keep dot, it dot. at two keep it at two classics okay and then the other movies we watched like that are kind of halloween-ish or like horror thriller-ish mm-hmm. they have to be of equivalent to say like blade or like, all right yeah no blink. i got you i got you did i say it right don't yeah, blink don't blink yeah no no baby you didn't say it right <laughs> blink twice twice <laughs> blink twice don't blink you know what yeah. that what i just did there i blame my mother 
Why? What happened? The missing, misplacing of words and like things like that. She is the queen of doing that. And she thinks she's so on point. I'm like, mom, no, it's not that. She And then she'll repeat it again and repeat it again. It's Remember her, it's her. we were telling her about Blue Beetle. Oh, my God. And she kept calling it. What is it? Green, be- green beetle? <laughs> Pur- purple butterfly or something? The, the beetle. <laughs> the beetle. <laughs> What color beetle? Well, the bug, something, the insect. <laughs> what, what, what? Okay, cool. Yeah. So we've got a lot on docket. Yeah. I would yeah. say next two months, let's be festive. Let's be intentional. Yeah. Let's make memories. Yes. Let's be intentional about making memories. There, there it is. Quoted by Paris. Yeah. Just happy Halloween, everyone. Happy fall. Yeah. We'll see you before halloween i think maybe maybe. also one thing that we're going to start doing a little bit more of you mentioned this Mm -hmm. we want to utilize our instagram a little bit more yeah putting polls up could be fun yeah we're we're, we're gonna start putting the question on the go as the poll on social media as well yeah just in case you miss it here it'll be available on social media platforms platforms, because we have we have a good little following there so hopefully people interact um the the question on the go for this episode is what was your first halloween costume Costume. yeah i'm curious to see what everyone Uh, said i want to say because obviously at that age chances are it's your parents putting you in it so you may not really have a say that was the only time i went uh trick-or-treating ever was when i was five four or five years old okay well then yeah we should make it a priority let's figure out how to get trick-or-treating this halloween yeah i can't wait to do that i can't wait to do it happy halloween everyone we'll see you next time thank you for tuning in bye